Hi, in this video we will give a short overview of LabVIEW, what LabVIEW is and what we can use it for. We will go through some of the basic uh, features in uh, LabVIEW and we will give an overview of the LabVIEW uh, integrated uh, development environment. We will go through the uh, basic concepts of uh, front panels and block diagrams and how we can create objects on the front panel with controls and indicators and how uh, the terminals are used in the block diagram. We will give some examples of uh, basic LabVIEW programming and give some sh uh, small LabVIEW examples. Uh, we will learn how to create and use while loops in LabVIEW because uh, typically all LabVIEW programs need to have a while loop uh, in order to function. We will also give a short introduction to using plots and charts uh, within uh, LabVIEW. So what is uh, LabVIEW? LabVIEW is a graphical programming environment and programming language pr uh, created by national instruments. And LabVIEW have all the features as an ordinary programming language, but uh, you program in a graphical way instead of uh, ordinary text-based uh, programming like uh, C Sharp, Visual Basic, etc. And you can also easily connect hardware such, such as uh, different DAC devices, and you can get measurement into LabVIEW uh, using uh, these DAC devices and LabVIEW programming. And you can also install and use additional modules and toolkits for uh, different applications su such as uh, simulation application, control applications, real-time systems and DAC systems, uh, vision systems, etc. So here is a typical uh, LabVIEW program. So it's very different from uh, ordinary text-based uh, programming languages like C, Visual Basic, etc. So everything you do is in a graphical way. So here you see what you call the block diagram. This is the window where you are creating the code. So in this case, here we see a while loop. Here we have something called sub-BIs or what you call in other programming languages a, a method or a function. Here we have a so-called case structure. In other programming language, the, uh, these are called uh, if-else sentences. Um, here we have uh, what we call property nodes. So we set properties within our programming. Here we have something called a sequence structure, etc. So we have everything in LabVIEW, which you can do in other programming languages like C and Visual Basic. So let's uh, start LabVIEW and create some simple examples. So let's open LabVIEW. When you start LabVIEW the first time, you will get this um, uh, window. And then you just select File, New VI, like this. Then two windows will uh, open. This gray window is what we call the front panel. In this window, we create our uh, graphical user interface. And in this white window, it's called the block diagram. Here we create our code. So then the next step is to just right click on the front panel. And then we get our controls palette. Here we can select different controls like numeric controls, boolean controls, and all kind of controls we need to we can use in order to create our graphical user interface. So let's just select a simple numeric control and put it on the front panel. So this is what we call a, a numeric control. And you see on our block diagram uh, this terminal appears, which is um, you can use in order to create our programs. So let's uh, start to create one more numeric control. So now we have two numeric control. So let's assume we want to create a very simple program that uh, add these uh, numbers together. So we can enter values here, two, three. And then let's assume we want to create a program that add those two values together. So then we need to go to the block diagram. And then we can right click here and here. We can click on this in order to pin it. 
here we get what we call the function palette. So here we have uh, different loops, etc., that we can use in our program. And we have also um, different uh, numeric um, functions we can use. So in this case, we can use the add function. So we can just click the add function and put it on the block diagram like this. And then we can use uh, the wiring in order to connect these two terminals together like this. So this um, add function has two inputs, one x and one y, which we use in order to connect these two controls like this. And then we have created a very simple program that add those two numbers together and then we should show the answer here. So we need to create what we call an indicator on our uh, front panel. So just right click here to get the controls palette and then we select numeric and a numeric indicator like this. So the difference between numeric controls and indicators, here you can enter values, but this is only for read, for read only. So let's use this to show the, the results when we add these two numbers together. So then we can click, use the wiring tool, and wire it like this. And then we can run the program, clicking this uh, run button like this and you see we have created a very simple program that add those two numbers together and um, like this so i guess this is the basic for all labu program you have a, a front panel where you create your uh, use interface and you have a block diagram where you create your program or your coding and then you have a uh, controls and you, then you have indicators and then you have different functions that you can find right click on the block diagram and find it in the functions palette if you need different uh, graphical objects uh, different controls and indicators you can just right click here and find what you need in the different sub palettes and then you run your program using this uh, red button. You can also use the control E button in order to switch between the front panel and the block diagram. So assuming it's like this and I click control E and then I show the block diagram and then I can click control E and then I will show the front panel like this. So then you can easily switch between the front panel and the block diagram. In this case I just have them side by side. In this simple example, we need to, every time we change the value here, we need to click the uh, run button in order to calculate the answer. So in this case, we typically need a while loop. So then we can go to our uh, block diagram, right click to select or find the functions palette. Then you can select on the structures. Then we can find a while loop and then you can just drag the while loop like this around the code and then we can on our front panel create a button that stops our program so you can create just an ordinary uh, stop button and then we can wire this stop button to this while loop condition so we just wire those together this means uh, the while loop will run until you stop this button and then the program will stop. So let's um, run this program. Now I click the run button and now the program is still running and now I can change the value here and the value is calculated or the answer will be calculated automatically every time we change uh, one of these values. So this is, um, the program is running continuously until we stop, click the stop button. So now I click the stop button and you see the program stops. And now when I change here now, 
nothing happened because the program is stopping. And that's why we typically need a while loop in all our programs when we do lab view programming like this. In this case, uh, since the while loop is running very fast and take all the uh, pro processor uh, power, we could uh, typically add a timer. So we select, just right click on the block diagram and get the functions palette and then select timing. And then you can just select this wait function and then you can use this one on our uh, block diagram. And then you can uh, right click on the input here and select create constant and then we can add a value here in this case I enter 100 milliseconds and this means um, every time this code is running it waits uh, waits 100 milliseconds until it runs the code once more so then in this case you don't take all the um, pr processing uh, power on the computer. Another important uh, feature in LabVIEW is uh, the, the possibility to plot data. So in this case, we will uh, create a simple chart that plot the, this value. So let's just right click on the front panel and select graph and select this waveform chart like this. And then you see the corresponding terminal it appears here and we can just drag it into the while loop and then you can just wire this this value to the chart like this and then we can execute the program using the start button or the run button and you see the value is plotting here so let's just change it here um, it plots and uh, the results in this uh, chart like this. So this is all we need to do to create um, a basic LabVIEW program. We need some uh, controls, some indicators, typically a stop button that stops the program. We need to create a while loop and then we can create a chart that plot the results in our program. So that's all. So now you can start uh, using LabVIEW for your applications. Good luck.